Hey, happy Friday. I'm Jessa Bryce Beck, and this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Let's send it over to Drew, who is on a roll right now. And Drew, can we keep this gorgeous weather going this weekend? Tonight we can. If you got evening plans, all good there. We're going to be clear until tomorrow morning, and then more clouds are going to be rolling in. I think the majority of the morning should be rather quiet. We've got a lot of dry air over, but then some scattered showers will start to push in throughout the late morning into the afternoon and then wrapping up with some isolated showers by the evening. Temps will be in the upper 60s. Looks like more rain expected into Sunday. Drew, thank you. Let's get to your news, starting with Racine Police asking for your help in their investigation into Thursday's cemetery shooting. Two women were shot during a funeral at Graceland Cemetery yesterday, one of whom is still in the hospital. No one is in custody. Racine Police is asking anyone with information or video to contact them immediately. Well, here's a nice story for you. Check this out. The Milwaukee Police Department finding a unique way to reach out to the community today. Heck of a kick right there, right? District 4 officers taking on students and staff from Rocket Ship Transformation Prep in a game of kickball. One of the police captains telling us this is a great way for kids to see the police in a different light, and it really helps build trust within the community. The race for Wisconsin governor gaining national attention after former President Donald Trump endorsed Republican candidate Tim Michaels last night. The endorsement shakes up the battle for the Republican nomination just two months before the August primary. Former Lieutenant Rebecca Clayfish. Is it Lieutenant Governor? Sorry. Hey, happy Friday, everyone. I'm Jessica Bryce Beck, and this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Let's start things off with Drew, who is on a roll right now. Drew, can we keep it going through the weekend? Definitely this uh, evening. We don't have to worry about any rain. Temps will be in the 70s, dropping into the 60s. But by tomorrow, more clouds start to roll in throughout the morning. I do think we'll have some dry air around, so better chances for some scattered and spotty showers will be into the afternoon, possibly into the early evening, with some additional rain coming coming in for Saturday night into Sunday. So not wet the entire weekend, but definitely some showers around. Keep that in mind. All right, Drew, thank you. Let's get to your news now, starting with Racine police asking for your help in their investigation into Thursday's cemetery shooting. Two women shot during a funeral at Graceland Cemetery yesterday. One of them is still in the hospital. No one is in custody, and Racine police is asking anyone with information or video to contact them immediately. Well, here's a nice story for you. Check this out. The Milwaukee Police Department finding a unique way to reach out to the community today. Nice kick right there. District 4 officers taking on students and staff from Rocket Ship Transformation Prep in a game of kickball. One of the police captains telling us it's a great way for kids to see the police in a different light, and it really helps build trust within the community. The race for Wisconsin governor gaining national attention after former President Donald Trump endorsed Republican candidate Tim Michaels last night. The endorsement shakes up the battle for the Republican nomination just two months before the August primary. Former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish has been polling as the front runner, but the most recent polls happened before Michaels entered the race in late April. Turning to a story affecting pretty much everyone right now, the rise in fuel prices. Yeah, you know about them. The price of gas in Milwaukee hitting $5 a gallon at some places. Emerson Lehman has more. The average price for gas right now in Milwaukee County, $4.92 according to AAA. But as you can see here, some stations already charging well over $5 a gallon. But it's not stopping folks from filling up at the pump. AAA travel experts say that the demand here in the U.S. is going to keep these prices high throughout the busy summer travel season. And we won't see prices go down until the fall. Emerson, thank you. And of course, speaking of gas, let's check this out. They're calling it the world's largest LGBTQ motorcycle run. Dozens of bikers making the ride this afternoon from the House of Harley in Greenfield to the Summerfest grounds for Pride Fest. 
and a big change for Summerfest itself. Longtime CEO Don Smiley announcing he will leave his role at the end of 2023. Smiley has been instrumental in upgrading the venues at Henry Meyer Festival Park during his 20 years on the job. He says he hopes his successors will make sure Milwaukee always remains the city of festivals. And to Brewers right now, they are trying to make it two in a row over the Padres tonight after a dramatic ninth inning win last night. And the Packers minicamp gets underway next week. And we are going to uh, have rolling blackouts this summer. Well, we will see, but a new report says, yes, we are. Plus, wearing orange to mark Gun Violence Awareness Day. Tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10. We will see you tonight, but for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. Have a great weekend.